think my house is haunted. I just moved. Uh, a lot of weird things have been going on here in the basement region where I've got the studio area. We get down here, it kind of freaks me out coming down here at night. Get this light on. There we go. There you go. There's a studio. I've got to do some more still work to it, but because I've moved, it's kind of crazy boxes everywhere, stuff like that. But a lot of weird things have been happening down here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can record it. If I can record it, I'm gonna go after it. I try not to be scared of this stuff, but if something does happen, I'm gonna record it. Let you guys see it. Uh. Oh, oh, did you see that? Let me turn this light. Hello? 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 Is anybody in here? Hello? Is anybody in here? No one's trying to fool me and gonna run out of here, are they? Hello? Nobody's in here. Hello? I just fucked up. <laughs> Let me get this thing straight. Okay, guys. I'm gonna get the video camera because I'm sitting here watching TV and something walked down those steps and stopped at the foot and then ran back up and nothing was there. I'm here by myself. It's just really weird. Maybe I can catch it on video. I'm try once again get this stuff on video. It's been about a year since any of this stuff happened. It stopped. There's nothing there. Hey, anybody up there? Anybody up there? This is always happening to me.
stuff tonight. A lot of bangs and thuds. And they've been over in this area, and this is the area the ghost girl was in last time. But maybe, maybe I can get them on tape. Not expecting much of anything else, but I mean, just weird, creepy bangs. Right now, she's at work, I'm here by myself. This ghost seems to like to terrify me more than anything else. But, but anyway, let's see if I can catch any of this, see how long it actually takes, because it seems to be occurring like every like two or three minutes. It sounds like it's either coming from upstairs or the door, and the door freaks me out.
Let's see what happens. Let me pan and get the room again. Did you put this one in there? No. Let me just see what's going on. I wish I would have had the, the camera on probably about 15 minutes ago because there were screams. It just made your skin crawl. They were they, they they sounded like they were coming from the ceiling pretty much. I mean, one of them sounded like it was coming straight from this corner. It's kind of freaking me out getting near it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna record again. Maybe maybe I can get something. Oh man.
It's over in the viewfinder. Ah. Oh my God, she bit me. Can you see that? Her teeth marks. Oh no, there's another one. It is 10.16. I was sitting here watching TV and I kept hearing a tapping sound and I couldn't figure out what it was until I looked up above the bookcase and this fossil was rocking back and forth on this pedestal. And, and it kind of worried me because the thing's really heavy. If it fell, it'd really hurt somebody if they were underneath it. But let's see if I can maybe catch it doing it again or maybe it'll fly off the shelf that would be Fuck. books the books flew off the shelf This is new. All this crap is new. Oh, it piled them up. I think I may know who is haunting this house. I did some research yesterday and also today and um, found out some interesting things about this house and the house that was previously here. Now my house was built in the 1980s, late, I mean early 1980s, I think it's 1979 to be more exact. But before that, this house, which you're seeing right here, was on the same spot. Now let me dive into a little bit of history about this. This house was built in 1870. It is part of the Longacre estate. Now the Longacres, Henry Longacre, made his money in the steel industry and he owned all of the property around this area, including where my house is sitting right now and this house used to sit. And um, he lived in this house with his wife and his daughter, and uh, his daughter's name was Madeline. Now Madeline had, from, from the documentation I found, she had what they classified as fits. Now I tried to figure out what they meant by that because you know when you're dealing like in the, uh, the 1870s type paperwork, it really doesn't tell you. Well that had was probably schizophrenia because she saw things that were not there she would go into convulsions all kinds of other things and she was really sickly according to what i could find well what ended up happening was in 1882 she was in the back part of their house and a fire broke out and the fire ended up killing her well her father went to total depression for it they did rebuild the house in that back area 
but they cannot stand being here. That, that's that's refrigerator if you're wondering what it is. God, scared the crap out of me then. But but anyway, keep back to the story. Her father and her mother couldn't stand being here. They moved to New York State where they lived. Her father ended up committing suicide and her mother died penniless. Well, you can tell in this photo the house looks kind of boarded up. Well, this photo is from 1929. Well, there were about four other families that tried to live in this house up until it being boarded up and then finally torn down. Every single family that lived in this house only stayed in it for a few years before they left and they ended up selling it for next to nothing according to the market ratio back then. Um, or they just abandoned it altogether. The last family, which was a Fleming family, just abandoned it altogether and that's where this photo came from. No one else tried to live in, in, it, in it after that. They ended up tearing it down and it was empty lots for several years before they ended up building the houses that are here now. So from what I can tell, this um, Madeline is who is haunting. She's described as having long curly hair. And um, the time period and everything will go along with the occurrences that we've actually been seeing. Well, that's about all that I've been able to find so far on the house and finding out some of the background about the ghost. So uh, I just thought I'd clue you in, uh, let you guys in on this a little bit and let you know what I found because it's, it's, it's pretty creepy. But, uh, but it's strange stuff. All right, guys, that's about it. people ask me to communicate with the spirit now the activity has died down quite a bit from what it was um, in the beginning but uh, I have looked up online and the most uh, prominent thing I found for communicating is something called auto writing and uh, it's where you write down a question and then the spirit answers it and I think that's what we'll do here today I'm sitting here in my, my kitchen and my uh, small dining area and let's write down just to kind of confirm who this spirit is, we'll write down who are you and also what do you want. It's kind of hard to do this with a Well, I'm supposed to leave this now and let the spirit do the writing, but I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of sit here for a minute and see if um, anything might happen. I've had little weird things happening like things opening and closing and stuff like that and it might happen as I'm recording, who knows. When the force might shoot out, that would be kind of cool. just one of the weird things. See, there's nothing there for you people that don't believe me. Nothing is on this damn door. It's the first time something really strange has happened like this in about, probably about three weeks. Had a, see, no magnets, no nothing. Uh, we had a alarm clock move the other day and uh, just kind of moved maybe about two or three feet didn't fall off but it did move 
It's just one of the weird things. Rest. A lot of crap in our house. Communicating. Sounded like she was on the other side of the door doing this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go down here probably against my better judgment. But Madeline, I want I want to talk with you. You're making a lot of noise. Anything that I can do to help you to where you're not as noisy anymore? Hmm? Hmm? Whoa! Did you hear that? Madeline, are you trying to play a prank on me? What are you doing? Whoa, did you see that? through that damn door. That's crazy. Madeline? You up here? Okay. The clock's on the floor. She doesn't like time, I don't guess. It's crazy. Absolutely insane. Madeline, you here? Can you show yourself? Can you show yourself to the camera? Hmm? Can you? Can you show yourself to the camera? Madeline, are you here? Whoa, more book stacking I see here. This is tape seven of still motion cam. Another night, or probably, uh, we'll see how it turns out. I've done this seven nights in a row and nothing has happened, so we'll see what happens tonight. And uh, I'll just explain 
what's going on here. Um, I'm setting up stuff in a still camera to record all night to see if Mad Lion will play with any of the stuff here. I have an old school tank, which is this, a, a bell. I was told to put that down. Maybe she'll move it or, or something like that. And then I have new school, which makes a whole bunch of noise. It's a EMF meter. Um, so it's detect detecting my magnetic field, something horrible. Let's set it down so it stops. There we go. Uh, yeah, I should move away from here, shouldn't I? I can only move back. Uh, it, it's supposed to take, detect paranormal activity. So uh, we'll just leave that there and see what we get. Let me make sure the camera's in good position. I'm going to leave it recording all night and um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to bed now. got it in focus okay well let me tell you what was happening I was watching television just kind of hanging out over here kind of late and um, our little ghost friend decided to start throwing tissues up in the air what happened was this box of tissue which is on its side now uh, was flipped up and then it flipped over and all the tissues started being pulled out it was kind of like a hand was grabbing them and throwing them up in the air and piling them up here on the floor really odd really odd behavior strange I mean you're watching TV and something like that happens it kind of really freaks you out 
but uh, I broke out the camera to record to, to show you because I thought I could get it as it was happening but apparently it stopped since I got the camera but maybe maybe something else will happen okay that was weird and lost power too just fell off and the light bulb just blew. Okay. Let's see if she does anything else. Okay. I'm gonna try and talk to her. All right, Madeline. Is there anything else you want to uh, show us or do? Huh? Madeline? for me tonight? This is a northeast area of my residence. It's kind of got a lot of dirt. You probably can't really see it all because the light is so dark back here. And um, I was back here, I was working, moving some of these. I don't know if you can see them. There's a bunch of boxes and stuff. Some of this stuff back here, like that, which is a toilet, it's been back here ever since we moved in. So I don't know whether it went to the house I was here before or, or what. I just haven't touched it. But I was back here and I kept hearing dig, dig, dig over and over and over again. And then I went up and had lunch and I came back down and um, I saw a little ghost girl thing, demon, whatever you want to call it, standing over an area. So I, I decided to go up here and I actually dug and I found something really weird. wrapped up it's in some old twine and I dug it up uh, oh, crud all over it I'm going to take it up here If it was buried underneath the foundation floor, it's probably related to the ghost. It feels like a doll. It's really wrapped in this old material. Really old material. Let's, let's look at it. Come on. It's like a doll. Creepy. It's so old. Oh man, that's weird. It's a little box here. It's like a little music box. Whoa, the 
This looks like he's made of silver. Why is it so cold? What was that? Hi. <laughs> Ever since the last video, when we found the doll, I've been, well, we've been trying to figure out exactly what the doll means and why in the world it was buried underneath the house. I'm pretty sure the doll belonged to this ghost or demon or whatever, but um, I'm not sure what she meant by dig. I need to go underneath the house and dig some more and see what else we can find. But, uh, ever since we found this doll, and here's the strange thing. Like, we may take this doll and we'll put it up there for the night or, or uh, or, uh, you know, near the TV or somewhere else and, and, uh, go to bed. Well, we'll wake up the next morning and the doll will be over next to the steps. Now, this is creepy, and you can vouch for this too. It's happened three or four times now. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 weird. So, it's 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 strange, but uh, we've also been doing some research to make sure that this dog correlates with our ghost. And and I'm not the main person that's done most of this. It's been you. And uh, what would you say, the doll? Uh, it looks like it's like a early 1900s. Uh, or before that, because it's it's hand painted. And... <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, oh, oh my god! Did... I must have just missed it because it was right there, and now it's over there. Oh, I can't believe you didn't record it. No. Oh, it was like I didn't get it. It was like right out of the corner of my eyes. Like like it just. Oh. oh. God, it moved again, and I missed it on tape. Now that, that's really weird stuff. Oh, oh, oh. It's upside down. Oh God, what is that? 